Hi all, this is my personal best top 10 small forwards over the last 25 years. Milnes lurking dangerously in the pocket. Revolt leaves it for him, he spins onto the right, spins out of trouble. Stephen Milne for goal! Sensational! Okay, number 10, I've got Leon Davis from Collingwood, who was a genuine small forward, played that position for 10 years, played 225 games, kicking 270 goals, and could kick the impossible goal from all angles at any time. Two-time All-Australian player, and should probably still be playing AFL at the moment. A bit stiff to uh, you know, not be playing. Last year, um, made All-Australian as a defender, so it was a great effort, but here's my number 10. His hip pocket, Johnson, Lockyer, created some separation, trying to bounce it around the corner. Oh, Leon Davis, high fives all around. What a wonderful goal. Davis almost rode it off the pack, he still might get it. Yes, he does, he won't give up. Can he kick a goal? It's a banana, it's a sensational goal. At number nine, I've got Mark McHugh from Essendon. With a freakish player with the ball, played 207 games, kicking 242 goals. Was the best, best and fairest winner, two-time premiership player and an All-Australian. Mark McHughie is my number nine. It was pretty good. Lucas trying to find a way. McHughie also. Clever. Gets around. Bounce. Kick a goal here. 45 out. Oh. Wonderful. Magnificent. Somerville was held on to Hurd. Fantastic handball. McCurry with skill. Turns his man inside out. Goes for goal. It's close. Oh. Oh. Okay, number eight, I've got Brett Allison from the North Melbourne Footy Club. Two-time premiership player, represented Victoria seven times. Very classy and smooth left footer. He lived at the feet of John Longmire and Wayne Carey for 10 years. His ability to read the ball off, of, off the pack was something I really looked on for my career. And uh, Brett Allison is my number eight. North have gone backwards, he centres the ball, true centre half forward position, here comes Allison, traps it, quick snap, this could bounce through, it's a goal. It's kicked in play with a high floating kick, oh, oh what a mark by Allison. At number seven I've got Nathan Brown who played for both Bulldogs and the Richmond Footy Clubs. Nathan was exquisite with, his, with the ball in hand and was very good on both sides of his body and was a dead-eyed dick in final goal. Playing over 200 games, Nathan was cut short by a bad accident in 2005 and maybe could have kicked a lot more goals and played a lot more games. Nathan's my number seven. Ball bounced on kindly for him. Nathan Brown, kickable by his standards. Oh, oh that's great a goal. Vintage Nathan Brown. Smith has been great tonight. He runs through the lines. Long bomb. Brown gets the front spot. Almost takes the mark. He recovers beautifully. Oh, he's grabbed by the head. Umpire says play on. He has another go. Brown out of this. The Mercurial Brown kicks the sealer. At number six, Brad Johnson. Playing 364 games, kicking 565 goals. Probably the best player to ever pull on the Bulldogs Guernsey over the last 25 years. Brad's ability to move forward later in his career to kick multiple amount of goals and big bads was a credit to himself. To play over 300 games at any level is an amazing achievement, and Brad is my number six. A six-time All-Australian player, three times best and fairest winner, rep represented and captained by Victoria and Australia. Brad Johnston's my number six. Leftwich almost took the one-hander. Michael comes in to lend a hand. Johnson's dangerous from here. Oh, what a goal, Brad Johnson! Oh, that's a match winner by the skipper! Johnson. Still going, Brad Johnson runs to 50. Goal of the day! Now at number five, I've got Paul Hudson, who played for Hawthorne, Bulldogs, and in his last year played at Richmond. He's the currently development coach at my club at the moment, St Kilda Footy Club. Paul Hudson played 245 games, kicking an amazing 479 goals. In his second year of footy, finished fifth in the Brownlow medal and played in the premiership at the Hawthorne Footy Club. Kicked 200 goals at both Hawthorne and the Bulldogs, which is an amazing achievement. Paul's ability to take a great contested mark and not miss many shots at goal was probably his forte. Paul Hudson is my number five. Platten's still after it, going at a million miles an hour. Hudson. Round on the right. This is close!
Jarman in towards full forward. The bounce is important here. Oh, taken beautifully by Hudson. Hudson's kicked another one for the Hawks. They're coming back. At number four, Darren Jarman, who gave Saint supporters a nightmare in the 1997 Grand Final. Darren played over 230 games, kicking over 370 goals. A three-time Premiership player, three-time All-Australian, two flags with Adelaide, one with Hawthorne. His ability on both left and right side of the body was exquisite. His delivery to both Jason Dunstall and Dermot Burden was exceptional, and his ability to kick a freakish goal straight over the umpire's head was amazing. I was a Hawthorne supporter growing up, so Darren Jarman is my number four. He was also in the Crows team of the decade, and is a current member of the Australian Fo Hall of Fame. Darren Jarman, number four. Asked to kick quickly in towards the forward line. He goes to centre half forward. A great ball, Jarman! Right on the siren. Darren Jarman's got the chance to give Hawthorne the lead. In the woods, Jarman again got the one hand to it. This time it wasn't enough. Normally it would have been, but it's a slippery ball. Jarman still going, trying to sucker it down. He's still going, Jarman. Now he's at the bottom. Now he's at the bottom. At number three, Peter Dacos from Collingwood. 250 games, 579 goals. People just used to go to the footy to watch Peter Dacos play. His ability to kick the ball, the oval shaped ball in any direction at any given time of the game, wind, rain, hail, sun, was absolutely amazing and something that I used to go to the footy just by myself to watch and try and learn my craft off. My dad was a Collingwood supporter growing up and I used to go to Victoria Park to watch him. They used to nickname him the Mercurial Dates, probably one of the Best players to ever pull on the Collingwood Guernsey. Peter Dacos is my number three. No one can break clear. Attack to the advantage of Dacos. Look at the gather. The right foot snap. This is a miraculous kick. Unbelievable. Picks it up. Heads in towards the pocket. Over the head of Thompson it goes. Dacos. This is where he's at his best. The master. Brown right on the boundary line. Back to Mullane, likewise. Dacos nearly runs out of room. Oh. He's goal! Magnificent goal! Okay, at number two, I have Jeff Farmer from the Melbourne Football Club. Jeff Farmer was an amazing player to watch. He could take absolute hangers and was also brilliant at ground level. That's why Jeff Farmer is my number two. Now they penetrate towards the goal line. Up goes Farmer! Pass looking for Farmer over the top. Price Gibbs did a good job, but McManus is lurking dangerously. Back to Farmer. Got away from Scotland. The Wiz is going to weave some magic. Shakes another oh. tackle. Kicks the banana. And Jeff Farmer oh. is back in town. And finally, my number one small forward over the last 25 years is Philip Matera from the West Coast Eagles. Philip played 179 games, kicking 389 goals. Philip is my number one because he was lightning quick. He had great defensive pressure. His ability to chase and tackle for four quarters was amazing. He made defenders absolutely shake with the ball and his ability to kick a great set shot, a great running goal, a snap. He kicked awesome goals. One other thing Philip could do was play at full forward. He could take a great contested mark and was lightning quick off the mark. That's why Philip Matera is my number one. By Stoker, never by Chick, into the path of Matera, deep in the pocket, pulls it back. Oh, that's it. That's it. He's got four. He's entitled to spring in the air. Wonderful. Up forward, over the top of Sampi, a chance for Philip Matera. Very dangerous is Matera. Around he goes and kicks. 